welcome back to my channel math school in today's video let us solve the question number one part four from exercise 3.6 chapter three pair of linear equations and two variables in my previous videos i have completed the example problems exercises 3.1 3.2 and 3.4 if you have not watched these videos do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above so now quickly let us begin with the video part four from question number one exercise 3.6 chapter three pair of linear equations and two variable says solve the following pairs of equation by reducing them to pair of linear equations so these are the two given equations where we have to reduce them first to a pair of linear equations and then we have to solve them to find out their solutions so how we solved in our previous problems from question number one same way we are going to solve these problems also so first of all let us write down the general form of a pair of linear equations which is given by a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. Here the variables should always be in the numerator whereas in the given equation you can see that the variables x and y is given in the denominator. Okay, the coefficients can be in the denominator, but the variables has to be in the numerator always. To bring them into the general form of a pair of linear equations, we can write first equation as 5 into 1 by x minus 1, right? Here we are splitting the numerator and the denominator. Similarly, plus 1 into 1 by y minus 2 equal to so let this be equation number one similarly from the second equation we can split the numerator and the denominator and we can write 6 into 1 by x minus 1 minus 3 into 1 by y minus 2 equal to 1 let us take this as equation number two so here we have 1 by x minus 1 and 1 by x minus 1 in both the equation which can be substituted to some other variable like P and similarly 1 by y minus 2 and 1 by y minus 2 in both the equation can be substituted to some other variable like Q. So let us take let 1 by x minus 1 be equal to P and 1 by y minus 2 equal to Q. So substitute in equations 1 and 2. Okay. So substituting this in equation 1 and 2 we get 5 into 1 by x minus 1 we are taking as p plus 1 into 1 by y minus 2 we are taking as q so we get 1 q equal to 2 so let us take this as equation number 3 similarly in e equation 2 when we substitute 1 by x minus 1 as equal to p so we get 6 p minus 3 into 1 by y minus 2 can be substituted as, as q equal to 1 so let this be equation number four right so we have reduced them to a general form of a pair of linear equations where comparing to the general form the variables are in the numerator now we have to solve them and find out the solution so again here we can apply any of the four method like graphical method substitution method elimination method or the cross multiplication method here let us apply the elimination method so write down applying elimination method to equations 3 and 4 so to apply the elimination method we have to make sure that any one coefficients of the variables should be equal and should have a plus and minus sign so here the variable q has plus and minus sign whereas the coefficients are not equal here we have 1 and 3 so to make the coefficients equal so here let us multiply the coefficient of q that is 3 to the equation 3 so that the coefficients of q become equal from equation 3 we have 5p plus 1q equal to 2 and from equation 4 we have 6p minus 3q equal to 1 if we multiply the coefficient of q that is 3 to equation 3 we will get the equation as 5 into 3 is 15p plus 3q equal to 6 and the equation 4 will be as it is that is 6p minus 3q equal to 1 so here we can notice that the coefficient of q is equal that is 3 and also it has a plus and minus sign so directly we can eliminate the variable q 
q so we will be left with plus 15p and plus 6p where we will add up becomes 21p equal to here 6 plus 1 is 7 right so we got p equal to 7 divided by 21 so cancelling 7 1 times 7 3 times so therefore we get p as equal to 1 by 3 so here we got p value as equal to 1 by 3 so let us substitute this value in either 3 equation 3 or 4 and find out the q value so write down substitute p equal to 1 by 3 in equation 3 so equation 3 is given by 5p so 5 into 1 by 3 plus 1q equal to 2 so this becomes 5 by 3 plus 1q equal to 2 sending this 5 by 3 to right hand side so we get 1q equal to 2 minus 5 by 3 so let us take the LCM here so LCM will be 3 so 3 into 2 is 6 minus 5 1q is equal to 6 minus 5 will be 1 by 3 so we got q as equal to 1 by 3 but we had assumed initially q value as equal to 1 by y minus 2 right so we had taken q as equal to 1 by y minus 2 and also we obtained q value is equal to 1 by 3 so equate the right hand sides of these two equations so we get 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by y minus 2 so cross multiplying we get y minus 2 into 1 is y minus 2 equal to 3 into 1 will be 3 so send this minus 2 to right hand side we get y equal to 3 plus 2 2 that is y is equal to 5 similarly now we obtain the p value as equal to 1 by 3 also we know that p is equal to we had assumed 1 by x minus 1 so we got p as equal to 1 by 3 and p as equal to 1 by x minus 1 so equating the right hand sides here so we get 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by x minus 1 and cross multiplying we get x minus 1 into 1 will be x minus 1 equal to 3 into 1 is 3. So sending this minus 1 to right hand side we get x is equal to 3 plus 1 or x is equal to 4. Right so we got the solution that is x equal to 4 and y is equal to 5 for the given pair of equations so this is how we solve this problem if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving part 5 from question number 1 exercise 3.6 chapter 3 pair of linear equations and two variables so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc nsart math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of linear equations shown on the screen thank you